In this video, you will learn how to write and solve equations or inequalities that represent the constraints in a word problem. Let's take a look at the question. Nora grows broccoli and cabbage in a greenhouse. She has to divide the greenhouse so that she has space for three times as many broccoli plants as for cabbage plants. A broccoli plant needs six square feet of space, and a cabbage plant needs three square feet of space. If Nora has up to 700 square feet in the greenhouse for broccoli and cabbage plants, what is the maximum number of cabbage plants that she can grow? Start by defining the variables. Let B be the number of broccoli plants, and let C be the number of cabbage plants. Nora has up to 700 square feet of space to grow broccoli and cabbage. Use the symbol less than or equal to to represent this constraint. The space is divided between the broccoli plants and the cabbages. The space taken up by broccoli plants is the product of the space taken up by one broccoli plant, six square feet, and the number of broccoli plants, b. In the same way, the space taken by cabbage plants is the product of the space taken up by one cabbage plant, three square feet, and the number of cabbage plants, c. Therefore, the total space taken is 6 times b plus 3 times c. Substitute this expression into the inequality that represents the first constraint. Here's the first constraint in terms of the variables. You also know that Noor needs to grow 3 times as many broccoli plants as cabbage plants. Represent this constraint by the equation b equals 3c. Here's the second constraint in terms of the variables. Now, the problem is represented by an equation and an inequality with two variables. Start by substituting for b in the inequality. After simplifying, you have 21 times c is less than or equal to 700. Dividing both sides by 21, you know that c is less than or equal to 33.33. This means that the maximum number of cabbages that Nora could grow is 33. Now you know more about how to write and solve a system of equations and inequalities to represent the constraints in a word problem. See you next time!